to Katsina, where the Assistant Comptroller of Customs, Zumbi Uba Garuba, has visited the Jibia border again to interact with the communities and to supervise the conduct of officers and men of the Customs Service at the border post. This is in line with the new guidelines clarifying the federal government's policies over the recent border reopening. A TVC News correspondent, Abdul Latif Yusuf, reports. Life is gradually returning to this community as transborder trade and the usual cross-border activities increase. Despite the border reopening, the federal government is determined to keep strict vigilance on the border activities to ensure things do not return to the old ways. This meeting is intended to remind operatives of their assigned responsibilities of protecting the economy and the territorial integrity of the nation in the eyes of the world. The government does not want anything illegitimate, such as smuggling, child trafficking, uh, proliferation of small arms and light arms, because when these things are taking place, there will be no economic development. And Nigeria wants an economy to develop. And when there are threats of capital, the capital will move to other land. And when the economy base of the country is checking, there will be problems for everybody. The Assistant Controller General also urges members of the public to always seek input from the security agencies before engaging into any transborder trade. Anything smuggled in or out of the country is not on the record of the government. And government needs statistics for planning and development. So that's the advice. Well, I have also told them anything that they don't understand that is beyond their immediate understanding, they should consult the security agencies here. If the security agency is also beyond their understanding, they should write to the Customs High Command for appropriate decision to be taken and they will be guided. The Customs Chief also disclosed that scanners are scheduled to be reinstalled at the Jibia border as soon as practicable. While appreciating the communities for their cordiality, the ACG also urges them to always approach issues of misconduct with high sense of maturity to allow proper investigations. The team is also scheduled to visit Kwangolam border post for similar activity. Abdullah Latif Yusuf, TVC News, Katana.